Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Lauren and Lila. And in our little seat back there is Nora. Baby Nora. If you guys saw my last video, you know that we've been doing some crazy running around and moving. We are officially moved in in our new house. Lila, drum roll please. Where have we moved to? Texas. Texas. A lot of you guys guessed right in the comments because you saw the H-E-B coffee. It was kind of a red herring though because we didn't move to San Antonio. We are actually in the Houston area for my husband's new job, but we've been moving in over the last week. We finally got the last box unpacked yesterday, but it has been a while so I thought it was time not only to get back into filming and posting videos. This video is going to be kicking off my 12 Days of Christmas series. I have done Vlogmas in the past, but to be honest with two little ones this age and everything else going on at the holidays. It's just too much for me, but I am going to be doing 12 days of Christmas, which means you guys are going to be getting 12 videos from December 1st up until Christmas. So make sure you guys check out my page every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new videos. I'm going to be sharing recipes, day in the life vlogs, how I'm keeping on track with my health goals over this holiday season, and some holiday fun. Today we are actually sitting outside Kroger. It is a rainy, dreary day. But we are heading inside to get a few items because today I was asking Lila what she felt like for dinner. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to make. And since moving, we've kind of been doing just like little shops for a couple days at a time. We have not done a huge restock in the house yet. That I will definitely be sharing on the channel here. A Costco haul coming up as well as a visit for my first time to HEB, which is a big grocery chain here in the Texas area. So I do a lot of grocery hauls on my channel too if you're new. A lot of meal planning, mom life. So I was asking Lila today what she felt like for dinner, and Lila said... Lasagna. Lasagna. And I don't think I've shared a lasagna recipe yet on the channel. It's one of Lila's favorite dishes, and I think it's a perfect family meal for the holidays. It has red, white, and green, so Lila, we're calling this our... Christmas lasagna. Christmas lasagna. Anyway, the rain's getting worse. We're going to get into Kroger, go pick up the few things we need, and I'm going to share the whole process of making this delicious family meal with you when we get home. In the cart. Lasagna noodles, check. in the cart. Are you ready? Yep. We need the green for our red, white, and green lasagna. Pop it in there. Spinach. There's a lot of it. Get it in the bag. There we go. You want to hold it? Can you hold the spinach? All right, we got everything we need and then some, always. <laughs> Did you get some? Oh, some reindeer munch, some trail mix, and hot cocoa mix. Are we going to make hot cocoa today on a rainy day? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hey guys, welcome to my new kitchen here in Texas. So not everything is organized and perfect yet. We are still working through getting settled and unpacking. I think the next video I'll do probably once we get through this weekend and we have a little bit more time to finish up stuff is I'll do like a little mini like house tour during a vlog or something. So stay tuned for that. Um, but we are loving it here. We have a lot of space, a ton more cabinets. So all the cabinets and then I actually have like an island island peninsula it's like attached but a ton of space for kitchen prep all of my pantry goods are here on the counter right now because one of my biggest projects when we first moved into this house was it's it's a little bit of an older house not super old it was built like in the late 1990s and we are the first renters in this home and the previous people who were here were the original homeowners so there's like contact paper on every single shelf and cabinet which I'm pretty sure is from when they originally moved in and it was just old and it was super stuck onto all the surfaces so that has been my my biggest project was going room to room, removing contact paper, cleaning everything really well. So the pantry here is my last spot left to get all the contact paper out of. So yes, my current pantry is residing here on our countertops. That's another reason why we haven't done a full huge grocery haul and stock up for our new house yet. I needed to like get the kitchen fully organized first. But anyway, Nora's down for a nap. Lila's taking some quiet time. I have a minute. It is absolutely pouring rain outside, so sorry. That's why it's so dark in here and I have the overhead light on. It is just thunderstorming, pouring rain out, a dark and dreary day. So while my house is quiet, I'm gonna go ahead and get our Christmas lasagna dinner recipe ready. Mm. 
The first step in putting together our Christmas lasagna is getting our sauce prepared. Now you could easily skip this step and use some jarred sauce straight from the store if that's your preference. Today I'm building one from scratch. You can completely customize this to your taste preference. So first for the sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and dice half a large yellow sweet onion and saute that with a little bit of avocado oil spray for about four minutes until it's gotten nice and soft, fragrant and sweet. I also add a heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, garlic with love as we always say. And one pound of lean ground beef. This is an 85-15 blend. If you're looking to lower points, if you're following WW, you can easily swap out the ground beef for some ground turkey. I would just add a little extra seasoning because it doesn't pack as much flavor. Or you could use a mix with ground sausage or ground beef and Italian sausage. You could do ground pork, ground chicken. You catch my drift. You can customize this to however your taste preference. After that mix is completely cooked through, I'm using a little trick of putting a paper towel between some tongs and just soaking up that extra grease in the pan so I don't have to empty everything out and strain it. I add in one large can of tomato puree. And then our spice mix is going to be a blend of black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, onion powder, and garlic powder. You can also use a hefty pinch of red pepper flake is delicious in this, but since this is for my kids, I'm leaving out the spice. Give that a good stir so it's all incorporated. And then the final ingredient is going to be a hefty handful of spinach chopped. I add that to my saute pan, give it a good stir, and then I'm just gonna let this simmer. All the flavors develop and come together while I get our cheese mixture ready. The cheese mixture we're gonna be layering in between the pasta and sauce layers of our lasagna is going to be made up of one egg lightly scrambled, one 16 ounce container of fat-free cottage cheese, Again, this is one of the ways I'm lightening up this recipe versus using traditional ricotta. After a good mix, I'm adding half a six ounce container of shredded Parmesan cheese and giving that a good mix. The other half of the container I'm going to reserve for the topping as the final layer. And a spice blend of Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and salt. I also have an eight ounce brick of part skim, low moisture, mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and grate this using my Gidel grater. This is something I grabbed off of Amazon this season and I just always feel like when you buy cheese in bricks versus the shredded form, you get such a better melt, a better flavor. You don't end up with any of the powdery coating they use to keep it all separated in the bags. I will say this Gidel contraption over just a box grater that I used to use has totally saved my hands. I don't get any more nicks or cuts from the blades and the easy hand crank makes it go so fast. I'll link this one in the description box below. The mozzarella isn't getting added to the cheese mixture. I'm gonna keep that separate and add it as its own layer, one in the middle of my dish and one on top of the dish. Now that our sauce and cheese mixtures are both ready, I have my nine by 13 casserole dish ready to go and we're gonna start layering everything in. I always like to start with a little sauce on the bottom of my nine by 13 pan. This just helps create that first base layer to put the noodles on top of. The noodles are going to need enough moisture. These are the oven ready lasagna noodles. So you do not need to pre-cook them, which is amazing. Saves a ton of time, but they do need enough moisture on both sides of them to make sure they cook all the way through and you don't end up with crunchy noodles in the middle of your lasagna casserole. 
So after a light layer of meat sauce, I add in three sheets of lasagna oven ready noodles. The Kroger brand works perfect for my nine by 13 pan. Three of them fit perfectly across without needing to break them into tiny little bits to fill in any gaps. Then comes a layer of our cheese mixture. I add a couple dollops and spread it thinly. You're gonna use about half your mixture on this layer. Then another layer of meat sauce, spread thin to cover. Now our first layer of shredded mozzarella cheese. I will use this entire brick of cheese over the course of this dish, so we're gonna use half the mixture here in the middle. Then our next layer of pasta noodles. Then the other half of our cottage cheese mixture. Make sure you're spreading everything all the way to all the edges. Another layer of meat sauce. Our final layer of lasagna noodles. And then my sauce mixture made just enough to cover them up one last time. So one last layer of meat sauce. And then the final layer is the rest of that shredded mozzarella cheese, as well as the other half of our container of shredded Parmesan. I also like to sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning on top as well. Now that this is all assembled, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. My dish does have a lid, but you could cover this with foil as well. It's done just in time. Nora probably is only gonna be asleep another maybe like 15 minutes, and I gotta get everything cleaned up. Don't think I mentioned it yet, but when we moved in, our dishwasher isn't working and needs to be serviced. So I've been washing everything by hand. And with two little kids, that adds up. So I'm gonna try and get all of my mess from making dinner cleaned up, but then what's nice is it'll be done after dinner and I won't have as much to do after we get the kids to bed. It is just after four o'clock. I have my oven preheating to 375. I'm gonna put my lasagna dish in the oven covered for like 50 minutes. You just wanna make sure you can put a fork through it and it's fork tender and the noodles are cooked through. Delish. Edges are bubbly. I did test it. A fork goes right through the bottoms. My noodles are cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and make up a green salad to have on the side and dinner will be ready. There you go. That's dinner. Red, white, and green. Christmas lasagna. Christmas lasagna. What do you think? Thumbs up from dad. Lila wanted to give her review. What do you think? A 10 out of 10? Oh, nice. And do you remember what all the colors were? White was? Was. Was that the noodles and cheese? Noodles and cheese. What was red? Sauce. And how about green, our special ingredient? Lettuce. Well, lettuce in our salad, but what else went into the lasagna, do you remember? Spinach. Spinach? Do you got Popeye muscles now? Are you super strong? Super strong. Super strong, Nori? No, <laughs> but I think she likes it. She's digging into her salad right now. Like your salad, we got some zero point ranch on the salad. So there you go. Christmas lasagna, red, white, and green, feeling the holiday festive. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for our day one of 12 days of Christmas. I hope you enjoyed following along on our little grocery shop and cooking dinner with me. This meal would be great for any weeknight family meal, a weekend meal, or if you're looking for a simple and festive meal for maybe Christmas Eve, if you have a small party, this was delicious. You could make it ahead of time, cook it later. It does great in the freezer. That's probably what we'll end up doing with part of ours since um, I made a whole nine by 13 pan um, or leftovers, so that'll be great too. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video and if you're excited for our 12 days of Christmas series, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the bell notification. Again, check out our channel 
Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for those videos in December. And until next time.